appendix carry. I just watched the Pat Mac video called Guns Don't Go Off By Themselves, but dot dot dot. And appendix carry breaks the first rule of firearms carry. Breaks the first rule. Never point the gun at something you don't wish to destroy. In this video, we had two scenarios. One scenario, the guy was on his hip, and he had a backpack with some keys. And when he dropped his backpack, the key went into the holster and made the gun go off. And the guy didn't shoot himself. And then the other scenario, the guy had two people were shooting from appendix, and one guy's brass went over into the appendix holster of the other guy. And then when the guy holstered, the brass pulled his trigger, and he shot himself. Hmm. Are you appendix carrier? Say that you don't point the gun at yourself. Hmm. The four o'clock guy didn't shoot himself. The appendix guy did shoot himself. So uh, appendix carry breaks the first rule of firearms carry. I'm at 3.30, 4 o'clock right here. I need my gun. There it is. There it is. I don't need my gun. There it goes. I did not point a gun at myself. I'm sitting. Imagine sitting, drawn from a arbor holstering appendix. Just imagine that. Hmm. Guaranteed you're pointing the gun at yourself. You're so experienced. You're so experienced that you break the firearms rule every day. That's how experienced you are. And I and the ASP dude, uh, they delete my comments because I timestamp every time he points a gun at himself when he either draws or he holsters, and they delete it. I, I commented on the Pat Mac video. It's probably deleted now. They don't like their ignorance being mirrored to them. But they can't delete this video. The appendix carry breaks the first rule of firearms carry. And you're so experienced, you're so experienced that you break the firearms rule every day.